guys welcome back to the youtube underground now today we are going to be talking about recapping thousand pound sisters episode two this episode y'all have me pretty much laughing throughout the whole thing in this episode um basically what they show is amy and tammy and michael getting ready for their atlanta georgia road trip if you guys remember from um, the video that Amy posted when all the speculation started about the weight loss surgery uh, where she showed them going on the road trip to Atlanta, Georgia. And at the time, it was supposedly only for a fan meet and greet. Amy and Michael load up the van. They try to get it comfortable for Tammy because it's going to be a long ride, you guys. You got to think that Tammy cannot just fit into a seat. So they have to do something to make her comfortable so she can endure this road trip that they're about to make. They show Tammy like coming out to the van, taking a look to see, you know, what they had done to it. Man, she struggled so bad just to get in the van. You could tell that she was just in a lot of pain walking from, you know, her house out to the van. Amy and Tammy are planning on having a meet and greet um, in Georgia. Amy said in one of the little set down how they have the clip, she said that she knows a lot of her fans are overseas, so she completely understands if they don't show up. It was kind of cool because TLC showed Amy and Tammy making the video that we all seen um, that they posted to YouTube, how they were doing their meet and greet in Georgia. So we kind of got a, a behind the scene look of how Amy and Tammy filmed their uh, YouTube videos. Amy is really nervous about the trip just because of making it down there with Tammy. She says that she deals with being nervous by joking and eating and like who cannot relate to that? Like same Amy. I never thought that I could say I could relate to Amy Slayton. Tammy talks about how she's nervous to go see Dr. Proctor because she has had some doctors in the past turn her away because of her weight and just tell her that she needs to lose weight and then come back and see him. So I guess she's nervous that, you know, she's going to walk into his office and he's not even going to give her a chance to have this surgery. He's just going to, you know, immediately just turn her away. Now, before the girls leave to go on their road trip, they hit up, what else, y'all? The all-you-can-eat buffet. And let me tell you, Amy and Tammy through the hell down. Amy prepared plates for her and Tammy, which consisted of chicken, chicken and dumplings, broccoli salad, pasta salad, lasagna, rose, and that was just some of the stuff that we could actually see in the clip. The girls dig right into the very first of their many plates. Tammy talks about she's going to have a hard time giving up the fried food. She said this fried food just it just finds its way to her mouth. It's not like she's going out seeking the fat, the fried food, but it just finds a way, which is kind of true if you think about it and think about that Tammy is not really doing much movement. So the girl, it's not like the girl is going out to KFC, or at Kroger, getting her some chicken, frying it up. It kind of is just finding its way to her mouth. We got to all agree with that. Amy says she will also miss fried chicken the most, that she hates that she has to give this up as a part of her diet. After Tammy finishes off one of the plates Michael fixed for her, she makes a request for some ham, and Amy obliges. Like, these girls had, look, you can see right here in this picture that they had them, like, plates on deck, y'all. They had a plate that they were eating, and then they had, you know, you can just see two on deck here. So, they knew when that plate was gone, they were going to go swish it off, move it in, <laughs> move it in. They, they, These are people who get their money's worth, not... I'm just saying, y'all, it's true. This is why buffets exist, okay? you, you It ain't for the quality, it's for the quantity. Tammy was talking about how she feels really insecure when she's out in public, and, like, the cameras were showing, like, people staring at her, but the thing is, is that, of course, like, you know, of, of course people stare because Tammy's, you know, pretty big, but I think mostly that the people that they were showing that were looking at them was probably because there's a whole camera crew. Like, they're in Kentucky, y'all. We ain't talking about city Kentucky. We're talking about country Kentucky. Like, these people ain't, they probably ain't seen camcorders, more or less the damn TV crew there. So, that's probably what everybody was gawking at when they were like, oh. it wasn't necessarily Tammy, but, you know, the show wanted to portray it to be like people were staring at Tammy like she was some kind of, you know, sideshow freak, which I'm sure she gets looked at but probably not as much as they were trying to make it out in the show. Amy felt the same too. She said that, you know, she was feeling uncomfortable because everybody was staring at them. And then Tammy, it kind of led to her and Tammy getting into like a little, a little tiff because Tammy was like, no, Amy, you don't know what it's like to be me. And Amy's like, yeah, I mean, I know I'm, I'm fat too. I might not be as big as you, 
but I totally get it. And, and Tammy was like, it's not possible. You, you totally don't get it. And then they show Tammy, you know, sitting there doing her little interview or whatever. And she was like, you know, I would do anything. And Amy doesn't even know I would do anything to be Amy's size. And like, I get, and I get both views. Like I get what Tammy's saying. And I also get what, you know, what Amy's saying, like Amy's 400 pounds. So that is, a, that's pretty freaking heavy. I mean, it's not 600 pounds, but it's still big. So in a way, Amy does feel like Tammy, but I get Tammy because the 200 more pounds is a lot. So she doesn't know really how it feels. So I get both of them, you know, but they're just sisters and they're going to fight and that's to be expected, y'all. Amy's also worried that Tammy won't finish this journey because she said when, you know, Tammy gets mad that she kind of just, you know, quits doing whatever goal it is that she's working towards. So if Amy does want to say anything to her, she says, usually most of the time she just bottles it up you know, to keep Tammy from getting mad and, and throwing a fit and acting like a big baby that we've all seen. We've all witnessed that through the YouTube channel. So we, we all already know how Tammy is. If you followed along with the Slaytons since they've been on YouTube, that's accurate. You know, she's, that's how Tammy's always been. The next day comes and they finish loading up the van for their road trip because they are leaving today. She had brought like some egg crates. She told Amy to throw them back and Amy is like, nah, girl, we got you. You don't need those egg crates. Y'all know those little what are they I guess are they called egg crates they're not they're spongy something I remember my grandma used to get those from the hospital I don't know y'all they're like a sponge and they they look they're like in the shape of an egg crate fuck I don't know but Amy was like no girl don't worry we got you we done put you a mattress back there and like Tammy was like really wow woo, girl y'all went all out for your girl and they did they made let me tell you something Michael, I ain't got nothing bad to say about Michael. Michael is a gem, y'all. Michael is putting it together, and he's trying to help these girls out, and I can appreciate that. That right there, to me, is a good man. Don't come at me talking about no Michael, because I like the dude. Amy was super excited about leaving Kentucky for the first time. Amy's like, what, 32, y'all, and never left the state of Kentucky, and not only not, not ever left the state of Kentucky, y'all, but like I said, they don't live in cities. Like, uh, for all you who think Kentucky is just full of country and fields of corn and stuff like that, no, no. We have big cities like Louisville, Lexington. We got lots of big cities here, but Amy is, like, legit out in the middle of nowhere. So, for her not to have even, you know, experienced anything different to that, it was kind of like you felt sad and excited for her at the same time. Amy was also talking about how she was worried about this trip because... Uh, Tammy's going to be sitting for, you know, a long, for long periods uh, at a time. It's an eight hour trip for them. And she's already had a history of, um, I guess, blood clots in her legs. So that's something that, you know, they're going to have to worry about too. But she, they were saying, you know, this is a dangerous trip for her to go on, but it's also just as dangerous or if not more dangerous if Tammy doesn't go. Tammy gets right in the van and you, of course, you know, like I said, she struggles to the van and they, they show her like she, she just looks like she's feeling down and she's just not feeling good. And I'm assuming it's just because she had to make that trip from my house to the van. And Amy was like, you know, what's wrong with you, Tammy? What's going on? And Tammy's like, you know, I'm just not feeling good. I, I'm just I'm not feeling really well. And Amy was like, it, what is it? And Tammy was like, it's it's my stomach. And Amy was like, yeah, me too. I'm not feeling very well myself. We probably shouldn't have went to the buffet last night, like the day before we got to be in the van for eight hours together. So yeah, that was Tammy's deal. She didn't eat so much food the day before her and Amy both, Amy and Tammy, y'all threw the hell down in that restaurant and y'all are feeling the heat from that today. It was so funny because like they showed Amy and Michael, like it looked like they just straight up got out of bed like legit walked from the bed didn't even go use the bathroom didn't even go brush their teeth just walked straight out to the van and I thought they were going to load it up and then maybe go back in and change their clothes brush their hair you know like get ready no girl they just got straight up in the van and they took off I was like okay all right I get it you're going on a road trip so I guess it really don't matter like Michael's hair was all standing up Amy looked like she was straight up in her pajamas it was it, it was a show as soon as they get going what is the first thing that you would expect the Slayton sisters to do on a road trip? Anyone in the crowd? Anyone? That's right, y'all. They get right into the damn snacks. But don't worry. Amy bought healthy, healthy snacks, people. She got them some old beef jerky, couple bags of beef jerky, and some trail mix. It did not take long for the snacks to all be gone. Amy 
got the blame. Tammy said that Amy was the one that ate all the damn snacks, y'all. Amy, why you eating all the snacks? Why you ain't say none for Tammy? So what do you do in an emergency when you run out of snacks, people? That's right. You do the next best thing, which is stop for barbecue, which is exactly what Amy, Tammy, and Michael did. It wasn't very much longer in the trip that they stopped at their next fast food location. Amy declares that the diet starts in Georgia. And who can't relate to that, y'all? For real. Amy and Tammy kind of remind me of me and my best friend. I'm just saying, like, they joke around. They're like, you fatty, you da 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 this, that, and the other. That's how, like, me and my best friend get down. Like, you know what I'm saying? We like to tease and banter with each other just like that. So they, they make this stop to get their next uh, fast food or whatever, and they cut to the girls, and, like, Amy was like, our diet starts in Georgia. I'm like, that's right. Your diet starts in Georgia. Go ahead and enjoy yourself until you see that weight loss doctor. Tammy eventually starts to get very uncomfortable and have start having some pain in her leg. Michael pulls over and they resituate Tammy. And what I liked about this is that, you know, Michael was very, and that's another thing that I like about Michael. He was like very supportive. He told Tammy, like, you're doing good. You've made it this far. You did great. And I was like, that is really good. Like he could, you know how some people would be getting aggravated, like, oh my God, we got to deal with Tammy and he says, I've only seen him say positive things or try to encourage her and Amy. And I, th I really like that about him. They get her resituated. I think they like lay her down on the van floor. And she was like, it looks uncomfortable, but it, it made my legs stop hurting. And it made me feel a lot better. And they were able to make it the rest of the way, which was their hotel room. You guys remember this video is the video that Amy posted on her channel when she did like the hotel room tour. Now, here's what I found weird about this, guys. This is the video, the video that they showed was Amy's hotel room tour. Now, if you look, it says on the, you know, the name of the channel, it says Amy and Tammy Slayton. Amy and Tammy Slayton is not a channel. Amy's channel's name is Amy Slayton Halterman, I believe. And like, it used to be back in the day, I think, the Slayton sisters, but it ain't been that in, you know, years. Uh, so TLC, for whatever reason, changed the name of the channel and also the avatar that they gave Amy's channel uh, is Tammy. And I was like, why? And I think like even the thumbs up TLC added their whole little spin. I don't know why they would just want to put like Amy's channel name. That way they're kind of like promoting her channel. But I found it weird that they changed it. But it was just a little something that I noticed. They give Tammy her own room and she's super excited about it. But Amy says that she's worried about Tammy having her own room because she doesn't want her to like fall and nobody be there to call the EMS or whatever. So they set up baby monitors, which was weird. Like Tammy had one next to her bed and then Amy had like the receiver next to her bed so she could sit there and they both had their, what is it, CPAP machines on <laughs> And so Amy's laying there with her breathing machine on, watching Tammy, making sure Tammy don't die. And Tammy's got her breathing machine on, I guess, hoping she don't die. And I got to thinking, I was like, don't Tammy have like her own condo or something? Like, I didn't think that she lived in Amy's house. I kind of thought that she had like her own space and they were kind of like connected maybe. So I'm like do you do this at home too, Amy? Or did like TLC do this for add to add dramatics of the show? As far as I knew, like Tammy slept her own condo by herself and Amy kind of, but who knows? Maybe Amy keeps an eye on her all night, but I'm kind of thinking that TLC, like I said, just did this to add a little dramatics to the show. The girls go see Dr. Proctor for their first visit. Amy weighs in at 400 pounds, which is a loss of six pounds since, since when people, since the junkyard weigh in. That is correct. Now you remember with Tammy, she was like, I don't think the weight was right at the junkyard. I just think it was inaccurate or it was wrong. And she went on to say that again in this episode, how she didn't think that the junkyard scales were correct. Guess what? You guessed it. Not only was the scale right, but she gained three pounds since then. Mm -hmm. Dr. Proctor talks to the girls and honestly, he just did not have a whole lot to say. He was basically just asking questions like, do you guys do a lot of movement? Do you work for a living? And they were like, no, we don't work. And then Amy goes on to, does it? She was, her and Tammy are social media influencers. <laughs> Something like that. Amy tells Dr. Proctor 
that her motivation to lose weight is that she wants to have a baby and does not want to end up like Tammy. And ooh, let me tell y'all, that set off another little fight between the sisters. You got one fatty fighting with another fatty, which I think is hilarious. He wasn't laughing though. They showed a little interview of him and he was like, it really didn't make any sense. If you ask me, they're both unhealthy. So I don't know why either one of them is talking about the other one. Dr. Proctor tells Amy that she needs to lose at least 25 pounds by her next visit and that Tammy needs to lose around 60. Now it was so funny because like the doctor was asking about their eating habits and stuff and Tammy was like oh yeah I've been trying to tell her you know this is how she needs to eat four small meals a day eat some vegetables some meat like Tammy acted like she was a dietitian she was some kind of food expert she's like yeah I'll be telling and Amy's sitting there like I know you ain't got the nerve to be sitting there telling this doctor you be telling me and giving me weight loss advice look at you it was so funny the girls set up to do their meet and greet they both were super excited about meeting their subscribers they cut to this little clip of them talking about it and they were like "Woo!" and amy was all smiling and happy and then lo and behold amy's got two holes in her pants and her crotch at that i'm like wow tlc why are you gonna do amy like that why'd you just let her come out here with holes in her clothes like that y'all supposed to be dressing these girls making them look nice and here amy is gary freaking split open uh amy and tammy had sat down and was signing their pictures for their fans that was gonna come meet them which was like you know they had their fat fish pictures they was autographing them they were worried that they weren't gonna have anybody show up and it was sad and tammy was sitting there kind of worrying she was talking about how you know um her subscribers and her fans and you know people online those are the only friends that she has she doesn't have friends in real life and it was like ah Tammy, you're crushing my heart, man. You're making my little Grinch heart grow bigger. End up having some people show up to meet them. Um, I don't recognize any of these people, but I do remember hearing that uh, it was one of these people that must have leaked the information that, you know, Amy and Tammy were filming for a reality show. I do remember hearing about that, and that's kind of when we got more confirmation. But we still didn't get a confirmation that they were getting their own damn show, did we? No. TLC had asked them, you know, what do you like about the, you know, the Slayton Sisters YouTube channel? And she was like, oh, I like uh, I like Amy's makeup tutorials because I don't know how to do makeup. Like the lies, girl, the lies. Another one said that they like the cooking, the cooking stuff that they do. I was like, mm-hmm. And then they showed this crazy, they called her a super fan. Her name was Kathy. And this is the one I kind of have a feeling that uh, Dunn went and told everybody that they were, you know, filming at the time. But I could be wrong about that. But I definitely think that Kathy probably is uh, in the comments section somewhere. I have no doubt about that. She's probably everywhere. She seems a little, she's, she seems a little YouTube crazy, if you know what I mean, people. Amy and Tammy finally go see the dietitian. It was funny because the dietitian had asked Amy and Tammy to name off some of the foods they enjoy. And like, it legit went on forever, y'all. Like, they named off every junk food fast food, whatever you could think of on and on. And she was like, wow, are you going to, I just expected, you know, a short answer, like maybe chips and, and Cokes and candy, but not -uh, girl. They named off every damn thing it was hilarious. Amy, like I said, continued to act like she was some kind of diet expert again in front of you know this time the dietitian telling amy like i've already told you all this stuff amy you need to start listening to me and amy's just sitting there kind of like with this shocked look like i cannot believe the nerves like who does she who does she think she is right now amy's like you ain't right if you if you've gained that much weight then how come you ain't doing it they leave from seeing the dietitian and they show them going back to like another fast food place and this time they get more healthier choices. They got some grilled chicken nuggets, I believe, um, some salads. And the dietitian had told Amy that, you know, she had to cut back on her diet soda drinking. And she said she was allowing her one a day. And Amy was like, look, you, she said I could have one. You didn't say what size. So I'm going to make it extra large sodies. But you could just, you could just feel like throughout this whole episode, like Tammy and Amy were like nitpicking the whole time. And like, y'all got to remember now, they're sisters. They live together. They did this road trip together. And when you're around somebody like all the time sometimes tensions get high so it was like you, you knew it was coming so they end up getting into like another uh fight and this time with uh, in the van with michael up front sitting there like oh boy tammy's like going on about like i done told you how to eat amy and amy's like why ain't you skinny then if you know how to eat all that and then and, and then like it gets quiet for a minute and you can tell amy's pissed so amy goes low amy goes below the belt amy you know you did and amy was like i just I just want to know when you're going to get off that cane, when you're going to get off that walker. Tammy was like, 
I'm trying. I don't even use it in the damn room. You don't understand. I'm trying. And Michael's like, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's coming. So they get to uh, their next destination, which was a gift shop. Amy wanted to go in and get, you know, some gifts from her family to take back from Atlanta to Kentucky. They pull up and they're like, see ya. Don't even ask poor Tammy. I guess Tammy ain't even got no options. Like, Tammy's just stuck, y'all. She can't do nothing. She's like, I'm just gonna sit here. And Amy, they showed Amy and Amy's like, I ain't even mad about leaving her in the van. She can sit there and cool off. I don't know if they have like cameras and microphones to talk to Tammy, but kind of like Tammy was having a conversation. You could tell she was, she wasn't just sitting there talking to herself, obviously. She must've been talking to a producer or something. And, you know, she started getting real upset and talking about, you know, her struggles and how she does want to be more independent. And then, you know, she started to get upset and she started to cry. And, you know, man, it really makes you sad for her. Like, even though she's put herself in this situation, like, you still feel sorry for her and you still want the best for her. And she was like, you know, why don't my family love me anymore? Is it because I'm so big? It was really, it was sad to watch. It was hard to watch, especially because it felt like she was just stuck in the van, like, she didn't even have an option even if she wanted to go in she physically could not go and that is where the episode ended guys it was a good episode y'all like I said it kept my attention the whole way through I thought it was hilarious I think Amy and Tammy just showed a side to them that I really did not know I really did not see I really see Amy as a caring person and like she wants to take care of other people she wants to lose his weight so she can have her a baby that she can take care of I think she really cares about Tammy a lot she wants Tammy to get good she wants Tammy to do better and be healthier and live longer. And, you know, I really wasn't a big fan of Tammy. I've always, you know, kind of been an asshole towards Tammy because I've always thought that she's had a bad attitude. I'm starting to feel a little bit different towards Tammy, too. Like, I'm feeling and I'm rooting for her. And I want her, I want to see her succeed. I want to see her reach her goals. Like, I know that it's got to be horrible you know, stuck in a position she is, especially not having no support from your family, y'all. Like, you got to think with the kind of family that they came from and how they grew up. You know, you got to feel sorry for them. I don't know. I'm excited to see the rest of the season. Um, you guys will be back to react, to recap, to talk about episode three. I think it, like I said, it airs Wednesday on TLC. Check your local listings for times. We'll do that video Thursday or Friday. Y'all let me know what you think about the show in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.